Hello folks, this is Ayokunle Blooming Gardens. What are you guys doing today? I'm in my nursery house and we're planting uh, bell peppers. Alright, that's what we're doing there. That's what my guys are planting there one by one. You can see that's what he's doing. All these has already been planted and we have more people planting over there. Alright, but the reason I'm doing the video today right is because um i planted this seeds uh this old trees with my children over the week last weekend rather and i uh, when they started sprouting little by little on uh thursday friday which was roughly about seven days um i felt okay yeah let me bring it to the field to the farm for the rest of the journey you know thinking everything was gonna go well you know, but they say like this is our farming. While I know they finish, why did I take it home? Because I had some issues with the, I had some contending issues with the cocoa peat, and uh, I also wanted to try a new technique with cocoa peat called buffering. You know, where, uh, that's a concept I'm trying to learn uh, about the use of cocoa peat. So there are some cocoa peats that uh, maybe doesn't aid germination very well so i went to read up and i understand that you're expected to buffer your cocoa peat so i decided to do the buffering of cocoa peat and that's actually what we did here so essentially it's just get the cocoa peat into a big bowl like this each block soak it um we get water enough to submerge the cocoa peat then inside that water we mix uh, 200 grams of calcium nitrate that's essentially what it is and we allow it to sit in there for for at least 24 hours before we now uh, take it out in this granular form it would have dried out a little then put it to the trays then plant so i decided to try that and i planted it and the germination was excellent up till when i came to the farm today the 28th of march and i don't know if you guys can see yeah like i said the germination is excellent but guess what overnight one insect entered our nursery and chopped off all the heads of all the plants can you see this is so 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 annoying so so uh, sad so upsetting all the work done by myself and my children at home i'm sure when i get home today they're gonna be really angry with me and i am also angry with myself but look at the insects it's chopped off all the heads of all the plants in spite of the fact that we eventually got very excellent germination rates very annoying but hey what do we do they say well i know they finish so we move like we always say so we are replanting because we need to get these seeds into the ground as fast as possible all right that's my sad story today that's my sad sad love story uh but if you still like this sad love story please click on that subscribe button below there and uh give us a thumbs up also to show that you like the video what could we have done to avert this which is what we always do but i don't know how we got to for forget about this my manager had some uh, personal issues to deal with over the weekend his wife just put to bed so hey congratulations victor and uh, welcome to your new baby so he was busy and obviously uh, the rest of the guys on board do just not know what to do. But what could we have done? Simple. Just spray insecticides. It's a chewing insect. Probably one grasshopper or something. Just one to do all this destruction. Just put in the uh, insecticides and that's it. That's what we should have done. But hey, we move. Sad, angry, upset. All sorts of emotions right now. But hey, that's what it is. So we'll continue. Anyway, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel click on the thumbs up button to afford it to a friend someone to where to learn when you're doing your nursery pay attention to insects keep your nursery protected from pests and i will see you on the next video bye